uh, or rock, paper, scissors, as some of you may know it. We're going to do best of three, and the loser has to put this dung beetle, which you'll see hopefully closer. I'm not going to show you now because we're driving, obviously. This dung beetle on their tongue. Right, are you ready, Jandre? Well, ready is a strong word while we go around. I better use my good hand. Okay, that's a time. Okay, one to me. Who's keeping score? <laughs> okay, one. Oh, one to Jandre, so we even now. Oh, two to <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got to do two, no, best three, three, but best out of, <laughs> I try to justify it, okay. Okay, wait, let's go to the storm and maybe you can get a picture of me with a lightning bolt in the distance with a dung beetle on my tongue. I'm, I'm a woman and I'll keep, I'm a woman of my word. No, I, we tried to do this earlier with a live dung beetle and then it obviously got quite upset with me because I maybe shouted at it accidentally. I said, hello, dung beetle, really loud and it pretended it was dead and then it's um, sort of let off this very foul smelling scent um, so we didn't use that one okay we're coming into position is this going to be fine here Jandre? okay we'll just when when the vehicle decides to stop okay let's do let's see if we can get a bolt and then I'm just trying to mentally prepare myself there we go there's a couple of, oh there we go there was your opportunity the tree is in the way though. How dare it. That was quite a nice one. Oh, I hope we get the thunder that goes with the lightning. We can hear it brewing. Now, James, you've asked a wonderful question with uh, what happens after the rain, and you're wondering which insect is of greatest risk of drowning, um, specifically the ones that burrow. Now, that could be from anything from a millipede to a scorpion to any of the little beetles, of course, that can go under dung beetles, some of the dung beetles that obviously um, live underneath the ground rather than just inside the dung but I reckon scorpions will have to get out pretty quickly because they make deep burrows and um, but there's so many different beetles I suppose that make their way underneath but I think that they're quite good at escaping just before their burrows do flood completely now we'll wait for one more set of lightning to come through one more wave of lightning and then I suppose I better complete my my failing task I'm very disappointed with this then I have to put this dung beetle on my tongue. There was another one. I hope you're all getting this. Remember, if you do get a really good screenshot, or any of them, of course, we love to see your pictures. You can hashtag Safari Live on Twitter, or you could even email us questions at wildearth.tv. And I think that that's quite a wonderful challenge that Brent has sent you, set you uh, this afternoon. It was really, really quite tricky even to sit with a camera and try and do something like this. Now, remember, we are selling t-shirts and all sorts of other goodies, hoodies, tote bags, mugs, you name it. And you can go to shop.wild, what is it again? Wildearth.tv. Sorry, shop.wildearth.tv to go and have a look at those. Remember, it uh, finishes on the 14th of December. So get on ordering those. Remember, it will help fund us hopefully next year to go to uh, Luangwa in Zambia, maybe back to the Mara in Kenya and of course hopefully to see those gorillas again in Rwanda so wouldn't it be that be fantastic like I said it's a good opportunity if you haven't bought your loved ones a Christmas pet present well who doesn't love safari life and I hope there were some really good opportunities now to capture that storm but I suppose I better do my task okay are you ready for the Chandra I'm not I don't know if I'm mentally prepared, so, to back, so am I going to have to go, for, should I stand outside? <laughs> Let me just stand, just outside, Whee! jump down, <laughs> I took my hat up a little bit, are you ready for this? I'm not ready, and I'm sure that uh, Kirsty and Louise are having a good laugh, and I apologise, please don't look at my nails, we were digging underneath the vehicle because I clipped the brake line and a bit of fluid was coming out, so my hands are not clean anymore, okay. <laughs> Wait, no, no. Where did it go? Oh, no, now it's in the sand. Okay, well, I suppose a bit of dirt didn't hurt. 
Can you hit me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's wind. I need a windbreaker. I'm done. I'm not doing that anymore. That's me done <laughs> with the beetle in my mouth. Sorry, I've kind of come unplugged there, but I proved I did it. Are you impressed, Jandre? Sufficiently, yes. Jandre is sufficiently impressed.